That's what a kind man does. The good people, good people, that's what they want to hear. They want to hear that, they want to hear that Conor McGregor has turned his life around, has turned his life over to the Lord. And some will say, well, Supercast, that's a positive. That's a positive that Conor McGregor is turning his life to the Lord. You see? Is it a positive or is it a, another con job? Or is it another con job? You see? Conor McGregor has exploited his family. He has exploited his fans. Conor McGregor has exploited other UFC, the UFC. He, he exploited the UFC. You see? He exploited other innocent people the, since Conor McGregor's been in the UFC. That's all he's done is exploit, exploit, exploit. And Conor McGregor cannot exploit another person. He's still got his little son. You see? He's still got Junior to exploit. But Conor McGregor is out of options. You know, it's hard to find an atheist in a foxhole. You see? Bombs going off, tanks exploding, heavy artillery, 50 cal submachine gun fire you can smell the you know you can smell the gunpowder bombs dropping from planes you see the screams of of war the 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 terror of war if you raise your head up you could get you you could be in, in an instant you see that's when a person faces reality That's when you have to know is your soul right with Jesus. Because any moment, you could could be gone. You see? And it's hard. It's damn hard to find an atheist in a foxhole. And it's hard to find an atheist that's going to prison. 